Okay, everybody, I know I originally said that I was going to do a uh, unboxing video, but unfortunately the video is longer than uh, 10 minutes, and it wasn't able to be uploaded to YouTube, so I have to reshoot a second video of the... I really wanted to get the unboxing of it, so... There's the box. It's unboxed. I've already driven this car once, charged the battery up, and drove it once, and this thing is freaking insane fast. <clears throat> I mean, I've had it. I was flying with this thing. It, the, uh, the box says 38 miles an hour, but I'm going to disagree on that one and say it goes a little bit faster than that. The body is pretty uh, road rash resistant. You can see i got some scuffs and marks in it. I couldn't see a corner and I ramped a curb with it, but it's a tough body. As for the car itself, it is incredibly put together. Uh, that's your aluminum uh, rear bulkhead where your motor, everything sits. The adjustment for your uh, gear drive, or belt drive rather. Yeah, I personally think these belts are a little loose, but driving it, I guess the belt just expands out on speed, so... It worked really, really good. These uh, tires are hard, but they're still soft enough that they grab extreme traction. Um, let's see. We're running a uh, Venom 5000 milliamp with the uh, Dean's Ultra adapter, because the car naturally comes with a Dean's Ultra plug. That's what I love about Venom. Do a quick little plug for them, because... With all their kits, they always give you all these different connectors. Like, this is a standard Tamiya connector. One end plugs into your battery, the other end plugs into your ESC, or in my case, for batteries that don't have it, most chargers like my uh, Profit Plus, it has a Tamiya plug, so that's what I have to roll with. Now, in addition to the car, I also bought... A set of four of the uh, Ray's six-spoke Pro uh, Pro Comp uh, drift tires, chrome, zero millimeter offset, which means they're direct bolt-on for the car. And as you can hear, they're solid as a rock. Now, <clears throat> the specs on this car, you are to have a minimum of a five mile an hour airflow under the motor to avoid overheating which hell even driving the car if you barely are in the throttle you're already going well over five miles an hour so that makes no difference at all um, the only thing I could see straight out of the box for me that needs to be done is the car is awesome but it needs to sit just a tad bit higher because there is a very large uh, large danger of uh, bottoming out. I don't know if you can tell. I ran the car for about 15-20 minutes and it's already scuffed up so I'm going to have to adjust my shocks a little bit. Give a little bit more ground clearance. I'm going to play with these body pin mounts. Raise the body up a little bit because just the slightest variance in uh, pavement levels you hear it hitting the ground. But I like that the uh, four links all the way around are adjustable. So you can adjust your uh, caster, your camber, your toe in, your toe out, camel toe, oops, whatever. Um, the belt change looks to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Like you have to take this whole middle section apart just to change the front belt. But that's easily undone with two, four, six screws and it's completely out and your, uh, they give you two-way tape to replace when you do the, uh, you have to pull your uh, receiver off, but it does have a Castle-powered uh, Motive F for flux, obviously. A Motive F brushless electronic digital proportioning ESC, which is very nice. And a Warp 5700 kilovolt flux brushless motor. It is extremely fast. I mean, you punch that thing from a dead stop, you're doing donuts which I've already had it doing that. I've had it airborne. The car is just awesome. And of course, I haven't gone sticker crazy this time like I normally always do. 
Let's put a few here and there. Did a little bit. Not much. Wanted to keep the car pretty clean. I also know that uh, you can do the, uh, forget the exact model number, but you can do a direct swap to the Tamiya Nissan R35 GTR Skyline body. It's a direct fit. Um, I like the turnbuckle on the suspension for the steering wise. The radio, the only thing, the radio has got to be the biggest downfall of the entire system. They should have done something more along the lines of the top qualifier radio. To me, I look at that and I can confuse that instantly for my axial radio. As you stick the two together, if it wasn't for one saying HPI on the bottom, you would not know the difference between the two of them. To me, I'm not a big fan of this radio system. That's why on my uh, AX10 back there, I run a top qualifier. Now I just swap out the crystals for when I run the little e Evo, which needs to be fixed. That'll be another video. The SCX runs on a uh, axial radio, and my Tamiya Halif F350 actually runs on this big, gigantic Futaba airplane radio. It's freaking huge, but it works. Um, my overall take of the car is it's a win-win situation. For $300, minus your battery, and <clears throat> I think it was uh, $6 for the rear belts and 7 something for the front belts. I bought two of those each. Um, you, you just can't beat it. Unless you go with an E10, but then that's not, or a, uh, what is it, the F1 uh, Tamiya, which, that looks pretty cool too, I wouldn't mind having one of those, but I really do love this, uh, this Flux, I've been wanting to do an on, on road touring car slash drifter project for a while, and basically none of the kits, the put together kits would uh, equal up to what I already got out of the box with this car. Next video, hopefully I will get an unboxing of which will be the uh, regular Sprint 2 2010 Camaro body brushed because they don't make they only make three versions of this I believe in the uh, Flex you can get it in the the Mustang that I have a 67 vet or a 67 Mustang of course I went with new school because getting the 2010 Camaro it's only right to get a 20 I think it's 2011 Mustang. But that is my ultimate power review. It's a must buy if you want a good on road touring car slash drifter. You cannot go wrong with the HPI Sprint 2 Flux. Uh, be getting a video up of it soon, driving as soon as we get the track cleaned off. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you like what you see, hit subscribe. And I uh, look forward to more videos.